Now, scrapping the age limit on in vitro fertilization or IVF and capping preschool fees at a percentage of household income per child, those are just two among five recommendations to raise birth rates here in Singapore. Six MPs from the PAP Women's Wing released a position paper with proposals made after surveying more than 2,000 people. Deborah Wong reports. Currently, women above 45 are not allowed to receive IVF in Singapore due to lower success rates and medical complications. But advancements in fertility treatments have lowered the risk for older women. Places like the UK, Australia and Hong Kong have already removed the age limit for such treatments. And the proposals from MPs are calling for Singapore to follow suit. Um, the reality is that we are faced with a demographic which are mar who are marrying later. So that's something that we have to acknowledge and give support. When asked if this move will encourage families to have children later, the MP said that they were aware that this could send a wrong signal about the likelihood of success. They have suggested that the health ministry review the proposal and provide appropriate funding for those whose chances of conception are good. They also added that this move will give older women more options should they wish to start families later. Despite a wide range of subsidies, the MPs found that cost is a deal breaker for many to raise a child. For example, households with less than $12,000 monthly household income tend to spend up to 15% on preschool fees per child, and this is after subsidies. There are also out-of-pocket expenses like extracurricular activities and excursions. The MPs have suggested capping the spending to 5% of household income to bring costs down. They also suggested expanding the anchor and partner preschool operator schemes so that at least 80% of households can get access to affordable childcare within a 10-minute walk. These operators get funding support to lower fees. Maybe bring more other operators into that scheme so that the overall level of fees in the entire um, uh, industry is lower. Second is what more can we do on the subsidies front? Perhaps the income brackets have to be raised to see how we can um, support even more families with more subsidies. Another recommendation was to understand the needs of different industries and jobs and come up with various solutions to promote flexible work arrangements. Respondents said workplace flexibility could influence family planning decisions. And for this to work, the MP said employers and workers should do their part to promote a trusted workplace culture. And for families with special needs children, the MPs have proposed strengthening the sense of inclusion. This means providing equal opportunities to learn and grow. The position paper will be submitted to the government for consideration. Experts CNA spoke to welcome the position paper and consider it timely. However, they also note that there are other factors to be considered before the recommendations can be put into action. To a large extent, I would say it's easier said than done. But, but then having said that, I think it's necessary to at least put everything on the table right? and say, okay, what do we need to do? Uh, where do we go from here? And what are the resources and the uh, commitment that we need from the people who will be involved in this? What will be the government's policy in certain matters? like baby bonus scheme. If there's going to be any changes, it will have an impact on one of the policies or one of the recommendations. Other factors such as economic growth would also have an implication. Um, things like societal perspective as well. If you're looking at increasing the age for IVF, would that have an implication on how society perceives such things? Um, and when we are looking at the position paper as a whole, it has to be something that can be developed strategically. Letting women above the age of 45 undergo IVF would give them more choice and may encourage more to try to conceive. But one expert points out that it doesn't mean fertility rates would rise. Well, this is because the treatment is not without limitations. Around the world, we have seen a trend of women becoming older and having fertility treatment. But what sometimes isn't so uh, clearly seen is that many of those older women becoming pregnant have given birth either from uh, egg donors, where the egg donors are much younger from themselves, or if they've had the opportunity to freeze their eggs when they are younger and then use them later on, because it's the age of the, the egg that is the most important factor in IVF success.